Today, I'm going to show you how to do the level 103 in the Kimura Protocol Raid or the Chimera Protocol Raid, whichever one you want to call it, for instant base repair. Hey everyone, Derpy here. Welcome back to another Battle Pirate video. First things first, I am using a Sea Serpent Screw, and entry angle does matter for this target. I really like coming in at the bottom right. I'm going to walk you step by step exactly what I'm doing here. It will be pretty tricky, I will be going pretty fast, because some of these turns you have to make are pretty tight. And I do like entering at the bottom here compared to the top left. I can't replicate it, not exactly sure why. In any case, the first thing you want to do is kill these random two turrets while staying outside of the range of these little orange mines here. That is very important. You should never be hit by those mines. Once that second one's past you, you're going to go past those things here and dip off to the left side. You want to cut a hard left so you don't get in range of this radioactive turret on the very top. This ballistic one should be the one firing. At this point, you're going to play a little bit of a range game. Go ahead and shift click on this far ballistic turret and hover over the red one. What you want to do is move in and out of that gap where those two things do not overlap, so you hit the red turret a little bit, run out of its range, and run back in about two or three times. You're doing this because if you stay in that range longer than a second or two, it's going to shoot at you, and it's going to actually explode and do damage to everything in that red ring, everything um, that's friendly to us, I should say. Once that's dead, we're actually going to go ahead and go up to the top. Don't go to the left side yet. Just run in and kill this radioactive turret as close as you can. Just make sure you're not getting in range of anything else here. Kill this one, it's dead. You want to make sure you do that one before you head off to the left side here, which I'm about to do, just killing this random building first. You want to make sure you do that because otherwise you get in the range of two or three things at the same time, which is going to lead to a shockwave, and shockwaves are very bad news. Go ahead and drop down to the left side of this target, the bottom one, and then cut in for this turret. You saw I got a few extra shots off at me there, no big deal. Hover over the heavy turret, the short range radioactive one, and move close in this exact spot right here, and shoot at the turrets that are actually doing damage to you. Again, those are the long range radioactive ones. If the other one's not dead yet, don't worry about it, just kill all these things here. Again, things that are shooting at you first. After those are dead, drop down to the left side of the target and go ahead and kill this little uh, fireball spawner, whatever you want to call it, and move in close towards the minimum range of these two ballistic turrets, which again, I can highlight, although they're just about dead. The radioactive one points the other direction, don't worry about one, that one. Kill the second spawner, and then when its last thing is spawned, go ahead and move up towards the top of the target, staying out of range of these short range guys, click on the radioactive one, get close to it, and do damage to it. Evade is very, very important. I may even make a very short video talking a little bit about that. In any case, go ahead and kill the two short range turrets, and the next range move is very tricky. You have to deal with four things at the same time. You can only see one usually, and up to two in some cases. Go ahead and shift click on this far turret right here. This is the one you want to stay out of range of this, and you also want to stay out of range of this little red guy. At that same time, you want to go inside the minimum range of the turret on the left and the turret on the right. This gives you one spot, which is right about here. Just go ahead and move there, stay out of range of everything else, and you should be good. At this point, nothing should be shooting at you if you have the spot right here. If you want to rewatch this section, go for it. Once these two turrets are dead, you're again going to play a little bit of a range game. Go ahead and shift click on this far turret here, and then move around in the spot just to the right where these things do not overlap, so you can kill this red turret without the white one shooting at you. So a few tricks here inside, you can do spins around with different directions, just make sure that you're not getting shot at and nothing actually damages you until you kill this turret. If you would like, okay, I got one shot off at me, so pretty bad messed up. Once this red one is dead, go ahead and go up towards the top. Don't cut into the right just yet because you do have the short range radioactive one open kill the spawner right here for that orange fireball, and then move in close towards the dead zone of these two radioactive turrets. Once you're inside here, and don't go too close because we do have other things around here, kill everything on this entire island, and then you can go ahead and drop off to the left here and get inside the minimum range of, again, this ballistic turret. Once you're inside this range, you can go ahead and click on the radioactive turret right here, kill this guy, and that is the second to last thing in this target, followed up by the ballistic turret right here. Again, just get close to this one, inside the minimum range, and you are golden. This was with my X1 fleet. If there is enough interest, I will redo this video with the U1 free kicks eye fleet. 
Although at that point, someone else hopefully has a video out at that point, no promises. In any case, this is the damage taken. You can see that Ballistic is 15% resisted, 1% taken. Radioactive is 9% resisted, 0% taken. It means more of my damage was from Ballistic than Radioactive in this target, although again, they both did do damage to me. I was running a Sea Serpent Screw. Total damage is 12 minutes and 50 seconds, which is instant base repair. You can't quite tell, they are all damage. 15.5 million health should be fairly consistent across all of them because the King Killer mechanic is present in this target. In any case, that was the level 103 in the Chermor Protocol Raid for instant base repair. This was a really detailed video, step by step, tried my best on this one. If it did help, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. If you have questions, go ahead and let me know that as well. I do have my best to get back to you. In any case, I want to go ahead and say thank you to everyone whose name appears on screen now. And until next time, this is going to be Derby, signing out, helping you be a better pirate.